Okay, so the following is a, a very brief example of using a drone to do geospatial mapping. This is the Discovery Center nearby where I live. And I use this uh, to take aerial footage and pictures usually. Now what I did this morning is I went out and uh, I used a software called Drone Link. Um, I programmed the flight path and waypoints for the drones beforehand. The drone then overflew uh, this designated area um, took 25 pictures, uh, fairly high definition pictures, and I loaded this into an open software tool called WebODM. Um, that then uses these pictures, uh, sends them to a node in the cloud, and generates a geospatial representation of this particular area and the pictures taken. It, it took a while to compute that. Uh, it took about half an hour or so, a little bit longer maybe. But you can see the results are actually pretty good. This is a 3D, 3D model. Um, I'm switching now briefly to a 2D model representation overlaid over the um, uh, Google Maps here. You can see it allows me also to do uh, and look at different layers. For instance, I could analyze plant health based on uh, different color grading uh, in, in the surfaces of the pictures taken. Um, I'm going back to the orthographic um, view and uh, also it is possible to scan in and scan out of the Google Maps so you get a better idea what this area looks like. And if I then go back to uh, the 3D um, geospatial model. I have got the ability uh, to move around in that. Um, I also can overlay this uh, with a block model of, um, uh, of squares to give a better uh, Im impression of what, what the height uh, and the geographic distribution looks like. I can also overlay it then with additional layers. For instance, I can have um, the 24-25 positions uh, of the drone in the air and can look at how these pictures were taken. Now obviously if I would use uh, a higher definition camera or would be taking more pictures with a greater overlap then you get an even finer uh, representation and a more detailed geospatial model but I thought uh, for an initial introduction uh, that would give you a pretty idea on what is possible with technology and artificial intelligence today. Thank you very much.